Hello everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I have an interesting video for you. Today I want to talk about the RCBS Rock Trucker Supreme Single Stage Reloading Press. Now this is a very nice press. This is a very heavy duty robust press. But what I want to do today in this video is I want to take out this standard bushing and I want to install or upgrade to the Hornady Lock and Load Bushing System. Now before I can do that, I have to take this uh, bushing out and thread in the new bushing which will uh, allow for the insertion of these uh, lock and load bushings. The reason that these bushings are so important, it makes it very simple so that when you set your dies, you can pull the die and the bushing out in one piece and therefore you don't miss or mess up your adjustments on those dies. So as long as you're using the same uh, caliber and the same bullet projectile and things of that nature, you can keep these things adjusted and, and keep them for a long, long time. Now, first thing, like I mentioned, we need to do is we need to remove this bushing. Now, if you have a crescent wrench that's large enough to fit that bushing, that would be good to use that. However, I'm still in the process of moving in and I don't have a crescent wrench large enough so I'm going to kind of go a little redneck on you today and I'm going to use a pair of channel locks. Um, I would not recommend doing this in the norm but I don't really have a choice today so this is what I'm going to use. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to lock on to this bushing and this is going to sound a little bit funny but I want to tighten this bushing a little bit. Now I'm going to reverse these channel locks and I'm going to unlock this bushing. Okay, the reason I tightened it is because it loosens up any kind of uh, thread sealant or anything that might be on that bushing. So I take this out just like that. You can see there is the old bushing out of my rock chucker. Very nice heavy duty piece of steel. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to open my Hornady Lock and Load Conversion Kit. And then I'm just going to read a little bit to you while I'm opening this. It says, enables other reloading presses to adopt Hornady Lock and Load technology. Allows you to load and unload dies with a simple twist. Positive locking action holds dies in perfect alignment. Pretty cool. So when you open the kit, you're going to have four little things here, and this one right here, this is the bushing that we're going to need. Okay. So what does it say on here? Simply thread the Hornady lock and load press conversion bushing into your RCBS rock chucker or other reloading press using inch and a half thread and you're ready to start lock and load technology notice that fits really nice the lock and load bushing system will forever change the way you switch from one caliber to another allowing you to stop loading change dies and start loading another caliber in a matter of seconds simply thread your 7 8 uh, into the lock and load die bushing the mill it says right here and insert the assembly into the press bushing which is this the female and uh, twist it clockwise lock it into a solid perfectly aligned position then adjust your die as usual and tighten the lock ring So, that's pretty cool. We're going to do that here in a minute. Um, reading what else does it say? Remove by twisting reverse one sixth of a turn. The die assembly comes out and the next die assembly can go in. The lock and load conversion clit, excuse me, kit can, includes three bushings and one conversion bushing. So, Let's get a set of dies. I'm going to use a 30 out 6 set. This is a RCBS set of dies. I'm going to go ahead and insert the shell holder 
into the RAM and let's go ahead and insert this. We're going to raise the RAM all the way up. We're going to thread the die down until the die body touches the shell holder. Yeah, we've got good positive connection. Now we're going to lock this die lock ring. Let's see if this tool fits. We're going to lock that. I have the set screw still out, but I'm trying to go around that. Yeah, lock that baby in. Now that die is set. So what we can do is we can twist this thing back. Let's see. Bear with me here. Just like that. And it's attached to the lock and load bushing. So again, the caliber just pops right into place. Then when you're done with that operation, you pull it right out. I, I think it's a, a really neat system. I went a little bit extra tight because I wanted to tighten the female bushing down a little bit. So there you go. Boom. So now I'm going to go over behind me real quick and I'm going to get a previously lubed piece of brass and we'll run it through the system. Just lube this brass with a little bit of Hornady one shot. So this is a 30 out six piece of brass. We're going to raise the ram all the way up. Boom, there's the spent primer. And that brass is now resized, ready to go. So from here, I can pull that out. I have extra bushings. I can put the die back into my RCBS case here. And when I get the bullet seating die and the crimp and everything established, then I'll uh, do the same thing with this one. I'll leave the die lock and load bushing on there so that I can leave it for the next time I want to come out and load this caliber. So I think that's a really cool thing. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I want to say thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave your comments down below, like this video, share this video, and if you like the type of content that you see on my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And until next time, folks, thanks again for watching. Have a beautiful day. Now make sure that you hang on to these bushing, these uh, standard uh, 7, what is it, 7, 8, 14 or something like that. Make sure you keep these. They're inch and a half and then on the inside they're seven eighths. So make sure you don't lose these. These are definitely something you want to hang on to. In the event maybe you maybe you decide to sell your press or are gonna get a, a newer one or something, you want to take that back out, put this back in, and then you can sell your press. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.